and um, welcome to lesson one of chapter two and today we're going to be going over working with time and date now working with time and date is one of the basic things which every PHP programmer should get under their belt and plus after this tutorial we're going to have the knowledge to go further on and in my future tutorials we'll be using information like this to create social networks and instant chatting and all of that great stuff so we're starting off basic but be sure guys we're going to get into some advanced stuff later so let's jump into this tutorial okay so for this tutorial we're going to be working in Dreamweaver CS6 but you can work in any version of Dreamweaver or any text editor at all once you've got your text editor open what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and we're going to create a new PHP document once this PHP document is created we're just going to remove all of that data in there just leaving us with a blank document then we're going to go file save as I'm going to save it to the computer local disk C xamp and htdocs wherever you installed your xamp folder in the lesson number two where we went over that so i'm just going to create a new folder and save this as index.php and now that we have this we can actually start to go over what these time functions represent so php represents time as a number of seconds which has passed since the date of uh, i think it was january the first 1970 now this might seem like an odd way to store the time, which I do too, but it actually works really well. As don't forget, you can always reformat how this is displayed to display it in like a, like a human readable time. So PHP has a basic format or a basic function to display this time. And that's written out quite simply by just typing time, open and close brackets, and closing it off with a semicolon. Now you can see that also uh, Dreamweaver highlights that in the blue color which you can tell is a PHP built-in function so that's all good right so I'm going to type out print time and we're gonna see what this displays on the web so if I go to Google Chrome and I go into the time functions folder which I created you can see that it just displays as I said as an integer which is a timestamp and that will be equal to this current time today now you can see that we've just used the print function, but you can also store this time function in a variable. So if I create a new variable named time, it doesn't have to be called time, it could be called anything else. I'm just calling it time as it suits this best, I guess. And then I'm just going to print out this variable, making sure the variable is equal to the time function. And you can see that if I refresh, it displays exactly the same. So you can also ins you can also store these uh, time or the current time in a variable and not only just static on the page okay so now that we've done that for a more precise time value you can use micro time which is displayed like so but uh, I wouldn't really use it because remember that the value of this because it's going to be um, giving you back seconds and microseconds the value of this is a float and not an integer so you can't really use it that well in databasing and stuff, but, you know, it works and it does give you more precise time. Anyway, what we're going to be going over now is we're going to be converting a date from a user input to a timestamp. Now, date can be, this is going to be really hard because, as you probably know, people write out the date loads of different ways from different countries to like that. So PHP has made it easy for you by creating a function which is like really easy, really simple and we're going to go over it in this lesson. So how you write this out is you just do string str to time and as you can see Dreamweaver also highlights that saying it is a built-in function once again. So now this takes um, one parameter and that's the string you wish to convert. So let's just create an example script of this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to be creating um, some variables and I'm just going to have a different type of format but the same date and we're going to see if PHP can handle this well. So I've created my three date format variables and the first one I'm just going to be equaling it to a very human readable time format. Uh, so I'm going to put in the 9th of October 2012 so anyone can read that. Now the next one I'm going to do a little bit less of a human readable format, but you can still read it and understand. So it's the ninth and a shortened version of the month, oct, and then a period saying that we're moving on to the date, so 2012. And then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to include the time into this, so it's 1750. 
or 1730 sorry and that just says it's 530 basically so yeah so I'm just gonna comment out saying this one uses the time and for the last one what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put in a very simple quick date format which I'm sure all of you have used before okay so once this is done what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna print out the str2 time and of the date format one and we're gonna see how it displays so as you can see it displays currently on the site as an integer which is great and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the one to three and as you can see it's a different date format but displays exactly the same now the reason why I chose three and not two is because if we change it to two because we're including the time it's gonna be a slightly larger integer so if we just refresh this you can see that the integer goes up just a tiny bit more it doesn't make too much difference and it's recorded the time for us okay so say that we chose a really weird string of time and the function string to time function was unable to read it at all now instead of printing out the timestamp it prints out a value of minus one so we can now do error handling so if we go into our script now and we go get rid of this and we can type in an if condition. So if we type if open bracket date format one is equal to minus one, then we can close off the bracket, open a curly brace, write else. And there you go. We have an if condition for error handling. Now we can echo out saying that the time was not converted if it's minus one and also if you if it isn't minus one so the else condition then we can also echo out the time is and then we can display the time to the user by using the period to concatenate onto the string to time function displaying date format one now if you view this in our browser you will see that it basically is just saying the time is and then like we've seen before because we're not going to bother going ahead and writing this really weird string which the time format can't understand because I'm sure you can do that in your own time. Alright, so the next thing we're going to go over um, in this tutorial in particular is the opposite of what we've just been doing. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be converting to a string from a timestamp. Now I've already mentioned that loads of people have a different way to display dates and times so PHP once again is making this really easy for us by having a function which is written out like this. So we just type in date, open bracket, close bracket, and close that off with a semicolon, like so. Now, this function, as I said, takes a parameter being a special string containing formatting codes. So you can have a uh, the date displayed however you want, basically. Um, so this is just a predefined, predefined list of options uh, that which you can set. So you can use the characters in the string and they will be copied directly to the formatted date as well. Also, if you run into the problem of having words in the date which you don't want to be converted into a time, maybe it isn't a time, uh, maybe it's just a sentence, then you can escape them with a backslash. So just remember that. Okay, so on the screen now I'll display a table of all the different tape, date format characters you can use. You can pause this video and uh, look over them, but because of the purpose that we're running out of time, and I kind of want to show you an example of this, um, I'm just gonna quite, I'm just gonna quite skip over that. And as I said, you could just uh, pause the video and look for it yourself. I'll explain it. I'm going to give you an example. So what we're going to do is the most simple way of doing it is obviously we're going to print date, open and close brackets, and within the brackets we're going to put two double quotation marks. Now we're going to do h and then colon i. Now th what this is going to do is it's going to display the hours and minutes. So there you go, it's 23.30 here, which is half past 11 if you know how to read time, which I'm sure you do. Okay, so after that what we can do is we can just do print and we could do maybe a string saying this year, so the year is, and then we can once again conc concatenate using the period and then date and then within the double quotation marks, we're going to put a capital Y displaying t as 2012, as that's what year we're in. So you can see that that has successfully done that. 
Now, guys, this was just a really simple and really easy tutorial on how to manage your date format in PHP. Uh, we're going to be going over a lot more advanced ways of doing this later on in maybe some PHP applications. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up to keep my content coming onto YouTube. And also so click the subscribe button because that helps me out loads. So I'll see you later, guys, and stay tuned for the part two of chapter two. See you later.